Whether you already own a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school or your dream is to teach Jiu Jitsu one day, you have or will be faced with one of the most important decisions of your life. Which mat making process will you utilize in your own school? Will you go the prefab route or will you do it yourself? 100 years later, multi generational Jiu Jitsu family legacy, and we've done it ourselves every step of the way. And there are three main reasons why the cost, the cracks, and the cleanliness of having this beautiful vinyl with incredible foams beneath it all done by ourselves with our team of students and friends and I want to teach you guys exactly how we did it for Gracie University Heaven which is even different than the previous map making process video that I did at Gracie Academy on Artesia Boulevard. So when we talk about these critical factors in the decision, we talk about the cost. It's just a lot cheaper. Like most things, when you do it yourself, you get the ingredients, you cook it up, it's cheaper than going out to the restaurant. It's the same with building your mats. Secondly, the cracks. Most prefab arrangements of mats have cracks in, the, in between the panels of foam and, and essentially prefabricated mats that you put down. There are cracks. What's the problem with those? Well. Toes get stuck in those cracks. Fingers get stuck in those cracks. Toenails catch those cracks. So if you don't do a good job keeping the trim super tight, your toenail gets stuck, it folds the toenail back. It's happened to me when training in facilities that have the prefab mats. It doesn't happen to everyone and it doesn't happen all the time, but it's much more likely than when you have this perfectly seamless fabric vinyl topper here on top of very effective foam for the durability and comfort of the students. And then we talk about the cleanliness. When you have those cracks, it's essentially inevitable that sweat and fluid and water and bacteria permeate those cracks, get underneath the floor panels, the paneling of these prefab mats. And we're talking mildew, you guys. I've had friends who in transitioning from one school to the other lift up the prefabs and they look under and there are colonies of mold living beneath the mats. Now, they clean the mats on top regularly so it looks great, but I don't know if I want to be training and smelling and existing with the mildew underneath the mats 24 seven every day I come to work. So this is the option we've gone with. I want to teach you guys. When we talk about do it yourself, there are three main factors that you have to know to do it yourself correctly. Number one is the foam. Number two is the vinyl. Number three is the wall panels, the panels that line every single wall in this facility here on our 6,000 square foot Jiu Jitsu Heaven super mat. Okay. And we did it differently than Gracie Academy, like I mentioned to you. So I'm going to teach you guys what we did with the foam. I'm going to talk to you guys about where do we get the best foam, where we get the best vinyl, and you guys are going to be all set, rocking and rolling. So when it comes to the foam, here's what we did for this facility. I'm going to take you guys somewhere I've never taken anyone. Look at this. Come with me. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. So I have a few types of foam in my hand right here that I wanted to show you guys, okay? And this is for my friend Joe at foammart.com. Joe is the man and he's team jujitsu, and he's gonna be your point of contact if you want the best foam. So, what we went with is this polyethylene two inch foam. This is for jujitsu heaven. We went all the way on the prefab. We did it as big as we possibly could. Look at this. Underneath here, we have this. Look at this. Perfectly fitted. We have our two inch polyethylene, right? closed cell, durable foam right here, very thick. And what this is for is like for the safety aspect. You can drop your knee on this foam, 300 pound guy, and it's not gonna penetrate and hit the concrete. It's super durable, right? And then on top of that, which is the durability, lifelong lasting foam right here, on top of that, we put this half inch Ensolite foam. Now, to be honest, this two inches right here is more, is too much sand for most of your little trucks. You don't need this thick of a base foam. We went all the way. We're going to be here forever. We're like, whatever, let's just do it. It was, you know, obviously it's a little more expensive than if you were to cut this down. I would say an inch and a half on this is perfectly suitable. Inch and a half on the polyethylene base foam from my friend Joe. And then on top of that, we put this. Look at this. This is the foam that they make yoga mats out of. It's called Ensolite, and this is a one half inch Ensolite layer. This is on top of the polyethylene foam. So now you have this feeling of durability in the core and softness to the touch. I didn't like when students had to wear knee pads to class. I want them to come to class and be comfortable no matter what. I want the mat to be their knee pad. And this is how we gave the durability plus the soft touch. So people don't have to wear knee pads anymore. There's no impact. Elbows, joints hitting the mat. It's comfortable. People walk in here and they feel like they're floating on a cloud in Jiu Jitsu heaven without it being unstable or unsafe to do standing techniques, clinching takedowns where you would roll your ankle. So a little bit of softness, a lot of stability in here deep. And that's what it looks like. 
So what happens is you have that core, you have this, and you're good to go. Okay, now another option. Another option, let me just talk about price on these right here. Give or take about $3 and what do we have? $3.50, $3.75 for this if you go at an inch and a half. We did two inches, so it was a little more expensive, but about three bucks, three fifty, three seventy-five for this one. For this guy right here is three ninety. That we're talking square feet, three ninety a square foot. So this square foot on top of this one, it's premium, premium. I don't if you don't have the budget for that or you don't want to go this big time with it, guess what? We can go smaller time with it. This right here is called Volara foam. It's called it's like a special floor foam. It has multiple layers on the inside of it, and it's kind of like almost like plywood. It's kind of like several layers glued together. Very effective for our academy in Beverly Hills. We went with the Volara. It's a slightly well, if you consider both of these put together, this is much cheaper. So we're talking about 340 for a square foot at about one and three eighth inches, which is this right here, an, an inch and three eighths thickness, which is what you can do. So you put this in and you go under, and man, it's still very comfortable just like this one and I would only say that this one right here right I'm gonna hand this school down to my kids and their kids and their kids and this is never gonna go whereas this right here it's a little softer to the touch off the get-go it's like it feels like if these two right here had a baby Ensolite and polyethylene if they had a baby it would be called Volara so this is a great cheaper alternative like I said 340 a square foot right and you're talking about one and three eighth inches and you're good to go so that's the foam the best foam we've looked everywhere the best foam is with my friend Joseph from Foam Mart, and I'm gonna put his information, phone number, link in bio, and if you call him and say, hey Joseph, Hannah, Gracie, Jiu Jitsu, I want the Gracie special, he's gonna hook you up with additional 10% off. Their prices are already the best. They do all the work for Hollywood. When they do movies in Atlanta, they send the Foam Mart foam with the studio to go put stuff down to protect the actors. So they do a lot of Hollywood stuff, they're here in Culver City, and uh, they love the Jiu Jitsu connection, and I said, bro, I'm gonna put this out, I'm gonna let them know to call you, Joe, directly, and you're gonna hook them up. He said, yes, Hannah, if they call Gracie Special, 10% off for anything over I think it was like 400 square feet so if you're doing something really really small it's a little more expensive but over 400 square feet he's gonna hook you guys up on any foam you want you want to go super configuration or do you want to go slightly more budget but still very comfortable and they can obviously send you samples so you can feel this before you get cracking all right so that's with the foam link in bio to all Joe's details email phone number call him he'll take care of you when we talk about the vinyl you guys this is the one right here that Holy moly, people have made the mistake on. We've made the mistake on, but really other CTCs and friends who did not go with Bob. Bob at Polyfabrics. Bob is the man. We've been using him for 30 years here, and he makes the best vinyl. And what are the factors that make it the best? Number one is the thickness of the vinyl. He has the perfect weight of the vinyl, where it's durable, super durable, right? In incredibly durable, and still very comfortable to train on. It has this shiny side, and it has this matte side. You want the matte side for your mat, for your jiu-jitsu mat. He also lines it with this four-inch panel of, um, of the loop of the Velcro, so that when you make your mat, you line your mat with a two by four and put the other side, which he provides you, he provides you the hook side as well, and you staple down on a two by four full perimeter of your mat, you staple down the hook side of the Velcro right here, the hook side. And then you have this and it just lays down, you pull it tight with a bunch of friends and boom, 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 you're good to go. Okay, and he, look at this quadruple stitch right here, quadruple stitch in terms of the fixation of the loop into this. So he's done so many of these for so many CTCs that he's 100% the master. Bob is the poly master, is what I call him. His vinyl toppers here that he does for schools everywhere. Okay, and the other best part about this is the seams. The, the, this is what's important about the poly, uh, the, the vinyl topper, is that the seams have to be permanent, right? It can't be stitched, like we used, previously had it done stitched, no acceptable, no bueno. It has to be uh, radio frequency heat sealed seams, and this is what Bob specializes in. This mat is 6,000 square feet. He does them all by hand, so he opens up this, he has a huge warehouse, he lays it out with his team exactly to your measurements. You give him the exact measurements to the quarter inch from this side all the way down to that side and then from this wall all the way down and all the cutouts and you draw a little diagram, you send that to him and he sends back the vinyl. This thing weighed like 2,000 pounds, you guys. This vinyl right here, when rolled up, 6,000 square feet, you roll it up and we had to all carry it into the garage right here, like 17 guys to move this thing inside because it was so much, one piece of vinyl. No cracks, no cuts, impermeable to sweat and to water. So cleaning, it's like sweep it up, spray it down, and mop it through. It's super efficient from a cleaning perspective, and that's why we always have, always have continued to do the do-it-yourself route because we just can't stand the cracks from a cleanliness perspective and from the toes and fingers, and it's unacceptable for us. So 
When we talk about this radio frequency heat sealed four inch vinyl rim, and that comes with it, right? When we talk about the vinyl, the cost, we're looking at about, what are we talking about? $1.35 per square foot. And that's for anything over a thousand square feet, which is pretty small area. A CTC has to be a minimum of a thousand square feet. So if you're opening any school, it's probably a thousand square feet or more. $1.35 per square foot for the vinyl. And that includes the perimeter, right? It's not extra to make that Velcro. He includes that in the cost. And then the cost, if you do fewer than a thousand square feet, like a Gracie garage or something, it's going to be a little more expensive naturally, but a thousand square feet or more, you're getting a ridiculous price on the actual vinyl that will be here essentially forever. It'll outlast you in many cases. As long as you take care of it, you keep it clean, and you don't bring any sharp objects on the mat, this is your vinyl for the rest of your school's life. Now, when we talk, so talk to Bob, you guys. His information, phone number, email in the description below. Make sure you talk to Bob and say, yo, talk to Henner. He said, you're the Bob, you're the poly master. And he is, you guys, so take care of you. He's very little old school. Greatest guy you've ever met. A little old school, does everything by hand, including this. So give him a call. He will call you back. Very reliable. And he's doing these toppers for CTCs and martial arts schools all over the country, all over the world. And they're shipping out at Southern California right from his warehouse. So talk to him. He'll take care of you guys. Get in the lineup. And if you want the Gracie Green, that's all you got to say. They have every color you want. If you say, Bob, I want the Gracie Green. Done. It's going to look exactly like this. And if you're, you know, team anti-Gracie University, then don't get Gracie green, get red and black and yellow, and you guys can be whatever you want to be. And don't even tell them, you know, just do your thing. Don't even tell them I sent you. Um, so back to the walls, you guys. We talk about the wall panels now. This is critical. Right here we have this pony wall that runs all the way down. It's about three and a half feet high. And then the rest of the academy, as you can see, is lined with the taller six foot panels, 48 inches wide. Six feet tall is the actual panel size for all of these right here, and they all follow the same process. Let me demonstrate exactly how that works. I'm gonna pull one of them off right here. Boom, so there you have it, okay? We have this French cleat, as you guys know, or like this uh, Z-bar, where this hooks on to the, uh, the opposite side against the wall, which is screwed against the wall. I'll show you guys here. So the French cleat simply hooks on, click, and it grabs on to the wall fixer. And then from here, we have our upholstery. This is kind of like a um, marine vinyl upholstery. I'll include the link in bio for this one as well. This is super cheap stuff. We're talking like five bucks and some change for a yard of it. And it comes, coincidentally, this stuff comes, right? This is a 48 inches wide. The, this actual um, upholstery comes at 54 inches wide. So when you buy it by the roll, it actually is perfectly wide enough for you to wrap the foam and staple it to the wood backing. And this is plywood, one half inch. Half inch plywood, get it any Home Depot near you. Half inch plywood, screwed in. Uh, upholstery, marine vinyl upholstery by, I think it's Autotex is the name of the company. I'll link it in bio. You guys can check it out and just buy that online. And um, they send you by the roll. You can buy as much as you need. You just got to do the measurements for how many wall panels you have, assuming that they're all going to be six feet tall to protect all the students from headbutting the wall. Inside the wall panel, right, let's lay this down. Boom. Inside the wall panel is one and a half inch thick, um, soft, like a very soft, what kind of foam was that? He, it was like a very soft poly foam. You talk to Joe, he's the foam master. Hey, what is the Gracie University? What are they using in the wall panels? He's going to tell you, soft poly foam, one and a half inch, and that's cheap too. That's like $2 and change for the wall foam. So very inexpensive because it's like an open cell, softer foam for that impact against the wall. So as you can see here, there's your one and a half. We lay down the foam. We put the wood on top of the foam. Uh, sorry, we lay down the, the upholstery first, this upholstery right here. We lay down the foam on top of the upholstery. We lay the wood on top of the foam, and then we screw the Z-bar in right there, the, the cleat, and then we take the vinyl and we just fold it up. And you'll become a master at this, the little corner fold right here. This is the most important part. If you become a master at the corner fold, once you nail it down, just make sure all your mats adhere to the same corner folding process. And uh, that way they all look consistently amazing throughout the whole thing. It's just a straight line, super clean. And these are super simple and good to go. So these are about $5 a roll. $5, $5 per yard is what you're paying for when you buy them by the roll and it just shows up and you're good to go, you guys. So when it comes to the walls, that's it. French cleat, plywood, boom, foam. And you do this with a team. You have a good Saturday. You bring food for everyone, acai bowls for everyone. Say, guys, we're going to assemble the wall panels, right? And even like putting the foam down, if you have a large room, the, the base foam, have a team come in, put the foam. And as you saw here, come back over here, one little... Bonus detail. You notice here that this is the Ensolite that I was telling you about, the yoga mat, but every single seam in the Ensolite we tape together with duct tape. 
so that at no point during the life of the school where the, will, the, will the mat do this. Will it overlap itself and create a bump on the mat? That way it stays perfectly flat the entire time. And even in here, even this stuff, look, this is a seam right here because we cut all this. And then underneath there, it's duct taped together. And then as I told you, you have your two by four come over here. You have your two by four with your hook side of the uh, Velcro. And that runs all the way around the perimeter. And then of course you have your panels based on you know, a pony wall or lack thereof. And you're good to go. And then this, you just have your team come in. You guys pull it tight. And you see we have this little step down right here. This is a cool feature. We didn't have this before. Before it was two by four here as well. But then people would stub their toes sometimes. Not a make it or break it detail. But we add this little decline, like a little wheelchair kind of little ramp right here. And we did it all the way down with this thing too. And uh, that way when people walk on the mat, it's just the most gradual. Uh, the most gradual progression. And they can just walk up. Nobody has stubbed their toe since we've been here. And it's been 100% awesome. So here's the deal, you guys. Three things. Foam. Foam with Joe. Talk to the foam master. Vinyl with Bob. He's done it for 30 years. For us here in America, and then for many certified training centers, it's like no problem. He does dozens of these every month for schools all over the country. And then for the wall panels, get the team. Get your things. Four, four feet by six feet on the panels. Get your rolls. Make sure you buy enough. Make sure you allow enough space for the actual flap of the rolls as well. Allow enough um, fabric for the flap and you're good to go. The only alternative for this is let's say you have a Gracie garage or a bedroom in your house that you want to convert to a Gracie garage and they're not going to allow you, your wife or your, or your husband, let me put this guy back, is not going to allow you to transform the garage permanently into a jujitsu facility. So for those, as many of you know, we have the official Gracie Garage. Look at these boomers. Look at this, boom. And then you go here. And then you come over here. I use these at the house with my kids, look. When we play jujitsu, mom doesn't want the, the garage to be converted. So guess what? It's not. Turn this. Boom, and look, this is a beautiful fixation system right here. Look at this fastening system. It's the Velcro. Instead of side to side, it's underneath. And the reason, the benefit for that is now you take this, you lay it over. All it takes is one person. And then you slide this casually off the edge right here. Look, you lay it down. And now, look, the lines are, the cracks are all lined up. And now you have 10 by 10. And look, even if I push both directions, it never slips. It never opens and detaches. Our previous mats used to glue on the sides and they would separate the Velcro. But now that it's doing this, when you're training on it, you're actually strengthening the connection between the two mat panels. Obviously, you still have your little seams here. So from a toe, from a toe perspective or a finger, not quite as good as Jiu Jitsu Heaven. But if it has to be foldable, in and out, we love this option. They're very easy to move. You can store them under a bed. You have 10 by 10, which is enough to open up a Gracie garage. And uh, that's all you need to know about that. So love this option for people who it has to be mobile. It's a smaller area. In and out, get these. We have them on the store, gracieuniversity.com store. We can get those whenever you want. Now, if you have any questions about the foam, about the wall foam, about the ground foam, about the Volara versus Insulite plus polyethylene. If you have any foam questions, don't call me. For the last five years, people have been calling Gracie Academy saying, hey, I have a question. Don't call me. Call Joe, my foam master. <laughs> call or email him. He'll answer any of your questions and help you come up with the best configuration and best structure. And he'll give you the fat Gracie discount if you let him know, you know, it's the Jiu Jitsu family. If you have any questions about vinyl, the weight, the style, the color, the, anything, don't call me. Call Bob. The poly vinyl topper master, and say, Yo, I want to talk. I know Hannah, what's up? Family, Grace University. I want to get down with you guys as well, okay? So, very important that you do not call me for any questions about this. You just do it yourself. The only one you contact us is if you want to buy some actual prefab at home grappling mats, we can help you with that. Now, the only thing more important than all of this is that. Whether you own a BJJ school or your dream is to teach jujitsu one day, that you understand that we only establish one certified training center per city, per region. And our goal is to have a CTC in every city across the globe. So what you need to do is if you want to get on board and be the designated Gracie University CTC, you need to check out gracieinstructor.com Submit a free territory reservation inquiry. All that says is, hey guys, I'm here and my dream is to teach Jiu Jitsu one day. I love your systems. Is my territory available? 
you're going to inquire. We're going to respond, yes or no. If there's already a CTC there, no thank you. If there isn't one in the immediate vicinity, yes, it's available. And then we're going to call you within 48 hours and say, hey, how's it going? And there's going to be a connection and we're going to see what your dreams are for jujitsu, existing school or future school. And if once a CTC is established in a territory, that's it. There's no second CTC, so your chances are gone. It's the most important thing. Worry about the mats a little bit later. First, go to gracieinstructor.com, find out if your territory is available. And if it is, we can hook you up. Reserve your territory for 12 months while you learn, practice, and essentially go through the instructor certification program. And by the end of that, you'll be ready to establish Jiu Jitsu Heaven miniature in your community. And the mats can be a beautiful Gracie Green. All right, much respect. If you guys have any questions, talk to Joe, talk to Bob. Otherwise, we'll see you at gracieinstructor.com.